y'all just gonna have to ignore the mess in the background good morning you guys it's currently 12.01 a.m it is wednesday october 19th and i have a midterm in in 10 hours and we are going to be staying up and study for this but overall this is going to be a week in my life i was supposed to start the video monday then i planned on starting it tuesday but i technically did start on tuesday because the first clip you guys would have seen is me going to convenience store or the gas station to pick up a red bull and it is a pomegranate flavored red bull i also got a regular um red bull but like when i came back from the gas station and my mom was like yo why did you get two um red bulls you know you can't drink that and what about it mom i've drunk two red bulls before and i turned out perfectly okay I think I turned out okay. I still got some cracks and... Anyway, but the Lord is working on me, okay? I haven't even done my intro yet, but um, hello beautiful. If you are new to this channel, my name is Sarah, but if you're not new here and you are a returning subscriber, welcome back bestie. I hope you are having a great day. So yeah, as I mentioned before, this will just be a week in the life. Tomorrow, I have my midterm. Wednesday, I have my midterm. Thursday, I have my midterm. I'm also going to vlog Saturday and maybe Sunday because I actually do have a women's conference at my church Friday and Saturday. So I think I'm going to vlog that because I don't actually know. I normally do not vlog anything, any events that happen at my church. Um, I'm kind of talking too much, so... So the next part is mostly just going to be a time lap of me just, um, studying. I lie, before we get into that, I really want to try this Red Bull right here. As I said, I got this in the pomegranate flavor, so just going to open this. Me likey. I like this. Oh yeah. If y'all if y'all see the pomegranate flavor of Red Bull, get it. It is currently 3.49 a.m. I have two more chapters to go through. And honestly, for this one, I am highly debating on simply reading through the PowerPoint. So let me show y'all what I am doing. Take my notes. I'm just taking them on um, good notes here. And then on my laptop screen, I have the powerpoint slides for my teacher and then the textbook but i'm mostly just looking at the powerpoint slides and i'm just rewriting like the key points and yeah so i got through chapter two and three and i just have four and five to do and then i'll be done so yeah right now um, i literally just finished like going through chapter three and i am now watching mac nicole mac nicole has been one of my favorite youtubers lately so y'all should check her out so i'm just gonna see y'all most likely in the morning maybe after my midterm or when i'm getting ready who knows because i'm literally just gonna pop on some clothes and hit the road good morning you guys it is currently 9 23 right now and i do have to leave right about now Wait, I didn't even check when the bus comes. Hold on. Yeah, so I, knew, I do need to leave in about uh, five minutes or so. 
but yeah um last night i went to sleep at around like 4 a.m or so and i woke up at around 8 um so i did get a bit of sleep and i do feel good about the test honestly i feel pretty confident my mom told me i better get 90 percent but child, pff, we gonna need a miracle for that to happen honestly but yeah i'm gonna just show y'all the fit or whatever real quick so I am wearing this uh, puffer jacket I got from Shein about like a year ago. And then I just have my school sweater on. And then I have these blue jeans. And then I think I'm wearing black Crocs. Or I might wear my white ones because my white Crocs have the fur in them. And then my black Crocs are just the regular Crocs. So I'm going to just head off to school. And I'm going to just see y'all after my test. So hey you guys, I am in school right now and I just finished my test. Right now it is 11.19 so I, that was like my only class for the day and I am off. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna get something to eat. I told myself I need to stop buying food because I've really been buying food so much. But yeah, I'm gonna just buy something to eat and I'm gonna stay and study for my midterm I have tomorrow, I want to get at least like one and then one chapter or two chapters of studying done. I'm going to go to one of the food places here. It's called the Urban Fork. It's really good. Expensive as hell, but it's okay. It is Thursday, October 20th, and it is 7. I don't know why I be showing my phone screen like it don't take 4,000 years to um, load. Not load, but to focus. But anyways, it is currently 7.37 a.m. My class starts at 8 a.m. I was supposed to leave my house by 7 a.m. to get to school on time, but I literally got out of my bed at like 6.50 a.m. Honestly, I usually skip this 8 a.m. class, but I'm only going because apparently there's like an in-class assignment that needs to be done. So like I'm trying to get the marks for that, but I'm gonna be like 40 minutes late. But yeah, the last time I saw y'all was yesterday and um, after y'all saw me, so I was at school studying till about 4 something o'clock. I came back home at around um, 5.45 and I took a nap and... Got up at like 1 a.m., got up again at like 4 a.m., reviewed my notes, and yeah. And I was so upset, y'all, because I told myself, okay, Sarah, you're only going to take a nap for an hour and a half, put on the timer, yada, 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 and my timer didn't even, like, make a sound or anything. So I ended up oversleeping, and my plan was to, uh, to finish my review, so that didn't happen, so, like, I just ended up rereading the PowerPoint slides. Honestly, I'm going to just go to school. Because the thing is, there's really no point of me going to school if I'm going to be 40 minutes late to class. I have a thing. If I'm going to be more than 20 minutes late to class, I'm just not going to go. And today, um, I'm going to meet up with my friend Danny. I don't know if we're going to meet up at her campus or we're going to go to our boba shop. But I do have an assignment due at midnight, so I do want to get that done. And I really need to get editing done, too.
need my drugs. I need my love. Hey. Bitch, you're standing up in here, sucking so. I'm in that smoke, oh baby, you yeah, come show me love. I fuck with nobody, little bitch, I show you love. I ain't trusting nobody, little bitch, I keep a gun. If a problem don't come up, you know I'm not gon' win. I'm feeling like somebody else, cause we blood like a bomb. Run them like a bitch, yeah, they smoke them like a bomb. Baby, I'm seven, all day. We just can't erase all day. I'll play. Baby, I'm seven. You get like this, you wish the bitch would fuck. It ain't been a day that I ain't been happy, it's first I pop. Yeah, they told me that they broke this, not my problem. Hello, you guys. It is currently 2.34. My midterm earlier today, it went like pretty well. I definitely feel more confident in my midterm for yesterday than today since. As I said, since I fell asleep, I didn't really get time to study, but I think I still did pretty well on it, so hopefully I get a good mark back. So right now, I am just working on this assignment here for my other class. I'm kind of almost done. I don't even know if I'm doing this properly, y'all, because like the teacher I have, he's kind of a hard marker. But yeah, I am going to leave here in about an hour or so, and I definitely should be should get this done in an hour since I only have like about two more questions to answer but yeah at around 4 p.m. I'm gonna be going to the boba shop like I usually do I'm gonna go to boba to visit my friend Danny and we're just gonna study honestly I'm not gonna probably not gonna study cuz this is like the only thing I really need to get done and I don't have any more midterm so like I'm gonna edit cause like I really need to edit and then later on today at 7 I do have church cause on church on our midweek services I help out with like the kids ministry I'm most likely just gonna see you guys when I am at Boba Oh, she didn't come? No, she's coming. She just accidentally... The way I'm just zooming in on your face. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, yes... Oh, can I talk about my depression on here? Yeah, I can. Yeah. So, yesterday, I had a poli size a poli -size midterm. It was three hours long. I went all the way up <laughs> to the library. Y'all, I'm talking about all my midterms were multiple choice. <laughs> Whatever. I hated it. I hated it. I hated every. It was three hours. The first hour, I was just thinking about the question because it made no sense at all. What was the question? Bro, it was my. He said one question. It was five questions that we have to incorporate inside of the whole essay. Like, what do you? What do you mean? I pray. I prayed to Jesus. I pray. I'm not even joking. I literally prayed, and then I started it. <laughs> I only finished it because he let me. No, if you like that. <laughs> I mean, like, if you want to pay for me, you don't have to. You gotta make up that sentence. If you want to pay for me. <laughs> Wait, what? If you want to pay for me, you don't. Am I just dumb? No, no, no. <laughs> if you don't, if you want to. <laughs> if you want to pay. No, I'm just stupid. Sarah, I don't think that sounded grammatically correct. That was it. Do you want to use yeah, maybe? It was <laughs> I use cool boss for so long. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go get my bumper. Are you gonna get something new? Yeah. I'm gonna get a small of the large. Stop. <laughs> Milkshake extra thick, please. Thank you. Danny, 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 bro. So I had my camera, right? And then there was this guy, this Somalian guy behind me. He was like, You're a YouTuber? And he's like, Yeah. Because he saw my camera. I don't think he definitely didn't know who I was because he didn't ask for me, but like. Thank you. Is this controversial topic? Is this controversial safe for YouTube? 
Yes. What's your thoughts on, well, I don't know. What's your thoughts on preferences? Like, what's your thoughts on uh, people having, having racial pre preferences or like... I or, like, feel like everybody has their preferences. Like me, I prefer black guys over exactly. this. I do I anyways. Understand. My problem is, is like, let's say if you were to ask a black guy, oh, why do you like white girls? And then they'd say, oh, because black girls are ratchet, black girls are that, yada, yada. Like, you can have your preference, but you don't have to bring another race down. Um, exactly. That's what Thank I, I don't you. understand. Like, you can have your preferences, but... Like, I don't understand some people are like, if you have a preference, that means they're automatically racist. I'm like, because like, there's like attractive people in, in every race, but the race I'm most attracted to is just black men. Yeah, so Doesn't mean like, I'm not like 110% like, oh, I'll never date an Asian guy or I'll never date a white guy, but like, if I had the choice, it would be a black man. So me and Danny, we've been best friends since like middle school, but we stopped because she was a snake and I was clingy. And then we started being friends like back in 2020. And like we've ever since we were like in middle school and stuff, we've been doing like this thing. Like when we ever we have Thank you. Okay, we've been doing like this put your head in girl. We've been doing like this thing where like um every time we have a crush or something we give them code names. So for my crushes, the main one is apricot. And most of the time, they have like a story behind it, but the apricot person does not have a story. The story is, that was the first thing that came to my head in the 8th grade when I, was, <laughs> when I was coming up with this name. No, literally it's the apricot. And ever since then, we've just been sticking with the name apricot. And it's, I've been having a crush on this guy for going on 6 years. Bro, that's no embarrassing. <laughs> It is. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. I have. I like. Am literally in love with somebody who doesn't even care about my existence. So. And I'm in love with somebody who literally has a girlfriend. Yo, what if what if you watch it? Then he knows. I don't think you. Why would he watch my YouTube? Why would pizza? You know who you are if you're watching this. If you're watching this video, pizza. He's not. You know, pizza's not watching this video. Maybe he will. Maybe, maybe you will. No, maybe you watch it. Because the thing is, Apricot knows about my YouTube channel, but I don't think he watches it. Because I'm not like, I must really post this on my story. Like, okay. but this specific part only. This specific part. <laughs> if you're watching this, I am deeply in love with you, and I think you know who you are. I mean, you don't know who you are, actually. No, but like, Apricot, you, you know who you are. Mmm. -hmm. Bro, I feel like the people who I who, who I talk to about this from high school who watches my video are girls. <laughs> and they're gonna be like, they're gonna be like, oh no, I can't. It's like Sarah, bro, just get over it. I can't. I try. I try. I don't, many I don't times. know if I talk to people about pizza enough. I don't. You shouldn't. And I shouldn't. And I shouldn't either. Can this thing focus? Well, because it's dark. Dark and black, just like me. Anyway. Okay, that's such a better angle. Okay. So boom. I usually get like the taro milkshake. Sometimes if I'm in the mood, I like to switch it up. Okay, got it in. So yeah, I already got my work done because I'm a productive queen. Oh, but did I tell you about this new girl I met you on get, the bus? Wait, you can finish your work all in one. Wow. No, I still have, I haven't like an assignment since Sunday, but that's the Sunday <laughs> That's literally my motivation right now. <laughs> oh, that's a, that I have reading tomorrow. No, that's just tomorrow. That's for tomorrow. Like I had a time to do today. That could have been yesterday, but no, that was a that's for today. Y'all don't be like me. If you can get your work done early, because you don't want to have to fail multiple classes and have to retake classes like me. And so so far, how the people, how your first year of uni has been? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. That was, uh, Anyways, we're still here guys. Um, it's been like approximately how many hours? Yeah, we have to leave soon, yeah, like but this. What's that? Like the thumbnail. Oh, I love that. I love that thumbnail. She's showing me the thumbnail for the next video. Anyways guys, I'm gonna I'm just gonna I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna um <coughs> She's adding this to the video. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna leave um, I just wanted to say your mom your mom and your grandma and your ball-headed uncle uh hey you guys so right now it is it is actually friday and it's 5 54 so yesterday after i went to boba with me and my friend i just went to 
church and everything and then I have school in the morning and stuff like that so yeah but right now I need to be good to be ready in about 45 minutes and I have to do this wig and do my makeup yeah I literally got back home at around like five ish and I ate or whatever but yeah but as I said um today and Saturday I have my women's conference so now I'm just gonna get ready for that and since I am in a rush um, I'm not gonna do no shit chit chat get ready with me maybe if when I'm getting ready for tomorrow I will but for today I need to get ready so y'all just gonna enjoy this montage of me getting ready all right Hey you guys, it's about 6.51 right now. My mom is early in the car, so I'm gonna have to talk quickly, but this is how my hair and makeup turned out. I think it looks super cute. And then, let me just move this there. And then this is my outfit here. I have this top from Shein. This pants are thrifted. Then I'm gonna wear it with my Panda Dunks. And I'm gonna wear it with this purse right here. And my mom is calling me, so I'm gonna have to leave. Saturday and it's the second day of the conference so it does start at 9 a.m. so right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just fix my room a bit because it's kind of a mess I originally woke up at 6 a.m. to do this but I was really watching YouTube I was really watching my own videos <laughs> just to let you know I'm not wearing a bra because I don't feel like wearing a bra but like when I'm in the comfort of my own home I'm not wearing a bra and I feel like you know we've established this relationship with us where like we can be like real and transparent because I feel like I'm just my oh, let me stop talking yeah so what's the plan um I'm gonna clean my room I'm gonna change the sheets off my bed actually I'm gonna take the sheets off and then when I get back home and put the sheets on so like my bed can like breathe a bit and yeah and I'm gonna get ready and talk to y'all about the conference a bit because it's called manifest and I want to talk about what manifestation truly is not what the crystal loving TikTok people say about it. What the biblical definition. Alright, alright. So yeah, y'all just gonna watch me clean my room. I'm gonna clean. Let me stop. I'm about to go to church. Yes, Jesus love me. Yes, my Jesus love me. Yes, Jesus love me. Why are you opening people's doors without knocking?
We are currently in a rush and I woke up early so I can take my time getting ready <sighs> but I guess that won't be the case today you know what y'all I'm gonna just talk to y'all when I'm ready cuz I'm not gonna be able to talk to y'all and effectively do my hair and makeup so yeah guys it is sunday and it's currently what time is it and it's currently 2 30 right now so i think i'm just gonna wrap up this video i know i didn't vlog as much as i wanted to at the women's conference but honestly i was just spending most of my time enjoying it so i hope y'all are okay with that but yeah but as i said before um the theme of the women's conference was manifest and i feel like oftentimes when we hear the word manifest especially within like the world that we're living in in the society like you hear the word manifest manifest a lot but when people are manifesting from what i've seen nowadays when people are manifesting what they do they just like you know write in their journal do the three by three method uh, law of attraction all that stuff some people even use crystals and go to tarot readings all that stuff but like when I'm talking about manifesting I'm talking about I'm doing it through God I am praying for it I am fasting for it I'm doing all the steps that I need to do to achieve my goals through God and stuff like that and it's pretty much like that was pretty much like the whole entire message of the thing because I feel like I definitely want to talk talk more about this and my journey with God on this channel, but just not today, but just to sum it up. I feel like I'm currently entering a new season in my life and I feel like it's going to be hard, hard in a way, but like it's going to be so rewarding. Part of me is excited for it because I feel like as we are approaching the end of the year, I just feel like God is going to take me to places I have never thought I would be able to to take especially with this YouTube channel because this is this YouTube channel is something that I want and it's something I definitely see growing and stuff so my battery is dying right now so I'm just gonna wrap this video up if you made it this far into the video don't forget to like subscribe and you hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I upload a new video Remember that you are strong, you are beautiful, you are so loved, and you are fearless in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Mwah.